hello up there welcome to this tutorial on transformations in this video we'll be looking at enlargement if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on transformations now we start with definition enlargement is changing the size of an object the image created is similar to the object and smaller or larger than the object. While enlarging an object, it is important to know the center of enlargement and the scale factor. The formula for scale factor is equal to image length over object length. And the, the scale factor can either be positive or negative. It can be greater than one or less than one. So we look at the various uh, types of the enlargement. Type A, the image is smaller than the object and falls between the center and the object. In this case, the scale factor is less than one. So we look at the diagram here. The image is smaller than the object and falls between the center and the object. You can see this. So this is type A of enlargement. Then for type B, the object is smaller than the image and falls between the center and the object. The scale factor is greater than 1. So we look at the diagram here. This is the object which is smaller than the image. You see, object is smaller than the image and falls between the center and the image. So we go for type C. For type C, the object is either smaller or bigger than the image. But the center is between the image and the object. The scale factor is less than zero. So we look at the demonstration here. This can either be the image and this is the object, or this can be the object and this will be the image. But the center is between the image and the object. This type of enlargement has negative scale factor. So from here, we'll be looking at some solved problems. So we go to problem one. Problem one, the blue triangle is an enlargement of the yellow triangle. Give the coordinates of the center and the scale factor of the enlargement. So this is the object here. And this is the image because it said the blue triangle is an enlargement of the yellow triangle. So the object is this and the image is this. And to give the coordinates, what we'll be doing is join the corresponding vertices to get the center of the enlargement. So this vertex here corresponds to this vertex. This corresponds to this. This corresponds to this. We are going to draw lines to join them and extend our line. So you place your ruler here and draw the line. So we can see the line there. Then the next vertex is this and this. So you place your ruler and draw a straight line. Make sure the first line meets with the second line then the third vertex here is this you place your ruler and draw the line so you can see we have joined the three vertices of the two triangles and they meet at this point that point is c and it is the center of the enlargement so we get the coordinate of c now that's going to give us this is negative 10, negative 11, since each line is one unit. So we have the x coordinates to be negative 11. 
then to the y axis now this is the point and it is negative one so we have the coordinates of the center as negative 11 comma negative one so that is all for that then we are to find the scale factor of the enlargement now for the scale factor remember we said the image length divided by the object length so the one that will accurately give us the length of both the object and the image is this side and the corresponding side on the object so for the image we can see one two three four we have four units there that's going to be the image length and here we count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have it as over 12 in the simplest form we have it as one over three so this is type a as you can see the image is between the center and the object and it is smaller than the object so that's why the scale factor is less than one this is the end of solution to problem one we then go to problem two for problem two describe fully the single transformation that maps rhombus a onto rhombus b from the two rhombuses we can see that it is clear that the transformation is enlargement then for enlargement we need the center and the scale factor how do we get the center as usual we are going to join the corresponding vertices the corresponding vertices so we place our ruler starting from here we draw the line remove the ruler so here again we place our ruler and join then here we place our ruler and join also and here to this we have our ruler there then we join remember as you join they must converge at the same point that point is the center of enlargement so the coordinates here on the x-axis is going to be negative six comma four you can see this on the y-axis is four a unit before five so that is the coordinates of the center of enlargement then for the scale factor we're going to make use of the length of the diagonals if you see this is the diagonal of this, this is the diagonal and since they are rhombuses the diagonals are equal so our image here is b so we get the length of the diagonal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have it as 12 units then the length of the diagonal of the object one two three four that is going to give us 12 over 4 which gives 3 and uh, the scale factor is 3 which is greater than 1 this is the end of solution to problem 2 we then go to problem 3 for problem 3 Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto Q. So from here, triangle P is the object while Q is the image. So it is very clear that the type of transformation is enlargement because this is smaller than this. It can be rotation, it can be reflection. We go ahead to get the center of the enlargement as usual we join the corresponding vertices and if you look at this this is two units this is one unit so this vertex is corresponding to this while this is corresponding to this and this correspond to this so joining this and this we place our ruler 
we draw a line to join them. The vertex with right angle are joined together. Place our ruler and join. Then the last but not the least, this correspond to this. We place our ruler again and join. So the point of intersection of the three lines is the center of the enlargement. So the coordinates of the center now is going to be 2, 1. This is 2 to the x-axis and 1 to the y-axis. That's the center of the enlargement of the transformation that maps P onto Q. Now for the scale factor, the fact that the center is between the object and the image, the scale factor is going to be negative. So what we then do is we get the length of the image, which is triangle Q, and divide it by the length of the object, which is triangle P. So taking this length, and it corresponds to this length, this is the image, we count one, two, three, four units, that's going to be four over two. 4 over 2 and that gives negative 2 and then um, we have described fully the single transformation that maps triangle p onto q so with this we are done with problem 3 we then go to problem 4 for problem 4 enlarge the shape in the grid by the scale factor 2 and center negative 5 comma 1 so to get the image enlarged given the scale factor of 2 and center negative 5 comma 1 so we are going to start from the center negative 5 comma 1 then the rest will follow so negative 5 comma 1 we go up to line of 1 this is the point so what we do now is we are going to join the center to the vertices of the object. So we join this point to this vertex and you extend your line as long as possible. This center to the vertex here, the center to this vertex, we join and this center to this vertex which is a straight line is drawn there and the center to this vertex is also drawn so from here now we can get our image how do we do that since the scale factor is 2 it means every length of the image is going to be multiplied by 2 so starting from the height we have 1, 2. 2 times 2 gives 4. Then we now come to this finite point. Where do we have the distance between the lines to be 4? So this is the finite point. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. This is another finite point. So we have the point here and the other point here. Then to the base here, this is 1, 2. We multiply by 2 to give us 4. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. This is also giving us a finite point. Then up here now, this is 1 unit. Multiply by 2 gives 2. So we now count 1, 2. This is the point again. This is 1 unit times 2 gives 2 units, 1, 2, this is the other point, and 2 upward, we have this point. We then join the points to give us the image. So that is the image formed by the enlargement of the shape, giving the scale factor 2 and center negative 5, 1. And that's the end of solution to problem 4. We go to problem 5. For problem 5, 
enlarge the shape in the grid by the scale factor 1 over 2 and center origin so just like we did this is the center which is the origin we join it to all the vertices of the object then it follows so we join the origin to this point origin to this point origin to this point and origin to this point then we count and um, for your information the scale factor is 1 over 2 so every side here is going to be multiplied by half which is as good as dividing by 2 so we start from here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we have the length 16 there we divide it by 2 that is going to give us a 8 then we look for especially the last one we look for a finite point this is a finite point this is a finite point so let's see for this finite point we count 16 divided by 2 we have 8 so we count if we can get 8 there so we count 1 two three four five six seven eight so you can see this is a point and this is another point and uh, from here now we have one two three four five six seven eight that is the width which is eight divided by two gives four we count from here and see where we get a finite point of length four units we have one two three four so this is the finite point and it goes up to give us this point again we then join them together to get our image and uh, we have enlarged the shape by the scale factor half and center origin it might be required that you give the vertices of the image form after the enlargement. So I hope you'll be able to do that. And that's the end of solution to problem five. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get all the videos on transformations. Until we come your way again, goodbye.